Oh man, oh man, oh man, it is so great to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Atul, because you know this is all of a civil production. And we own our thing podcast. Let them know, Simba. Every day, all day. Every day, all day. And of course, you know, we will strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Damn, Simba, you want the spotlight today. Can I blow up some paradigms, please? Oh, man, oh, man, the paradigms is going pooey. Listen. I want to give all of the Kuma babies round of applause because it is their day. Give it up for them. Yes, indeedy. Also, I want to give it up for all the Ujima babies because it is your weekend. I hope you've been living it up. Living it up. All right. And if you would, baby, can you fade me some music in? I want some music. I need some music. Right now, because we're about to get to the message of the day. And the message of the day is breathing life through artistry. Breathing life through artistry. Today, as we look into the vibrant principle of Kaumba, for those that initiate, which stands for creativity. As we journey to the week of Ujima, it, it is essential to recognize that creativity isn't just an individual expression, it's a collective force that can drive community, growth, and prosperity. Our theme, reviving traditional wisdom, serve as a canvas on which we paint the importance of Kaumba in a tapestry of Ujima. Our ancestors were not just builders, they were creators. From the intricate patterns woven into textiles to the rhythmic beats that echo in the night. Their creativity was a testament to their spirit and resilience. Kuumba is not just about artistic expression, it's about finding innovative solutions to challenges, envisioning a brighter future, and bringing it to life through collective effort. As we aim to revive traditional wisdom, Let's also rekindle the spirit of Kaumba, recognizing that our creative endeavors can be a beacon of a hope and progress for our community. Man. All right, here are the three steps to bring Kaumba to life. Let's go to our new. There we go. We're going to try. We're trying a new way today. Three steps to bring Kaumba to life. Step one. Embrace community art, participate in or organize community art projects, whether it's a mural, a dance, a song. Collective creativity strengthens community bonds. Collective creativity strengthens community bonds. Two, innovate for the collective. Think of creative solutions to challenge or to challenges facing your community. Host brainstorming sessions and encourage diverse perspectives. Y'all got it? Innovative. Innovate for collective. Innovate for the collective. Man, I don't know what's going on. Innovate for the collective. Y'all see it? Number three, celebrate and share. Recognize and celebrate the creative achievements of members in your community. Share their stories and creations, fostering an environment of appreciation and inspiration. May the days focus on Kumba inspire you to harness your creativity for the collective good. Let's weave our individual artistry into the broader tapestry of Ujima, ensuring that our community thrives and flourishes through the power of collective creativity. And family, stop playing. You know what time it is. Tell them what time it is. Please anime! I don't think they can hear you. I can hear you. Could y'all hear that? They couldn't hear that anime. Can, it, can you do it again, please? It's the proverb of the day. 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 Oh, thank you so much for doing your job. I can't. I'll be tripping when people want you to thank them 
for doing what you paying them to do. I don't care how you take your anime. All right. Give me that music back, please. Are oh, you going to turn the music up high like that, anime? Is that what we doing now? Is that what? Okay. All right. You kept your senses. There's other spiritual beings. I don't I don't have to work with a phoenix. Now, it is the symbol of Giami, but I don't have to work with a... I could change, put a vote in to the collective, and we could vote a, a phoenix out. Because there's a griffin. I just seen a griffin on the street yesterday begging for change. Keep messing with me. Keep keep messing with me. I got I, I got unicorns in my inbox that's looking for a job. And I might be looking for a new symbol. See, those that don't know, Giame, the sacred symbol of Giame, is a phoenix. That's our total, right? Anime is a phoenix. Anime feels she could do what she want because she thinks she got job security because it's her picture on the Giami symbol. You looking at it right now. Let me take that off. Somewhere out there, there's a unicorn looking for a job anime. You better stop playing with me. <sighs> oh, by the way, I am live. If you have questions or comments that you want to throw out, I am here for it. Want to have a discussion? But we're about to hit the proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. Proverb of the day. But we're going to have to make it quick because I got to go. Um... One of the elders called me. I got to go. Home. I have my my presence has been requested. So, you know, doing what we do here, Giami, I got to got to go on and see what we could do. All right. But you can go and type it up. If I got time, I'm going to deal with it. You know, might even come on. Well, no, I ain't going to come on here because I got on yesterday's shirt and three days ago here. So um, I ain't going to uh, talk, though. But anyway. Proverb of the day. By the time the fool has learned the game, the players have dispersed. I know some of y'all heard that one, right? By the time the fool has learned the game, the players have dispersed. Sit back, young ones, and grab the wisdom. This proverb serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of timely action and adaptability. In the realm of creativity, is not just about having ideas, but acting on them promptly and effectively. Waiting too long or failing to adapt can mean missed opportunities and lost potentials. Anybody out there ever experienced that? Quite sure some of us have. I know I have had my, you know, moments where I was the fool. The game was over by the time I figured it out. Those times where I was fully involved in the game and the fools was left standing. Kuumba, at its core, is about harnessing our creative energies for the betterment of the community. The proverb reminds us that creativity is not just about innovation, but also about timely execution. In the context of Ujima, it emphasizes to it emphasizes the need to act collectively and promptly, ensuring that our creative endeavors are relevant and beneficial to the community at the right time. May today's proverb of the day inspire you to not only embrace your creative spirit, but also to act on it with urgency and adaptability. Let's ensure that our creative contributions are timely, relevant, and beneficial to the collective tapestry of our community. Hot damn. I'm trying to cut down on... I'm trying to stick to the... Listen. I'm trying to... Stick to the strip. The, I said strip. <laughs> I don't even... Trying to stick to the strip club. I mean, trying to stick to the script. Listen. You know, Jamie had a meeting, set me down. So, bro, I tell me shows be too long. Stay off the point. We know you like to talk. You're pretty good at it. But we're gonna have to pull you in. Old man. Sit down, old man. Let me let's talk. You know, you ever had uh I think they call them interventions. 
people like to me doing shows every day. Waking up four o'clock, talking to absolutely nobody. We know. Hold on. We know what you're doing it for posterity. We know. I'm going to pull you in just a little bit. Stick to the script. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sirs. So I'm going to stick to the script. But anyway, so that's the proverb of the day. That's the proverb of the day. Now, oh, let me say it for you one more time. By the time the fool has learned the game, the players have dispersed. Now, the folktale of the day is the fir tree and the bramble. The fir tree and the bramble. And there is an insightful lesson in there. And for some reason, I don't have a link to a video. All right, I'll figure that out later. But, yo, this brother, Tim, if you want to get that, you got to go and get with us. Get on. Right now, you can get on that Telegram and get it as well. Or you can join our free G&J e-course. Go to freegnjecourse.com. Get down with us and let's build. Yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. Guess what? I'm up. I'm out. And you have a great, great, great day. Oh, as I say, may your day be as beautiful as you are. I'm out. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a try. Pray. Peace, family. Yo, thank you for joining us. Right, and I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Jayami's journey. See some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe. Tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Jayami's journey. And let's build together.